Okay guys, so before you can move on to carving your stamp, you're going to do a little practice stamp. Um, we're, we're gonna practice carving both a background, this is the area that I've shaded, and an object, the area, the triangle on the inside. Um, we started, you'll notice this is called a bench hook. You all, Whenever you carve, you must always uh, put your uh, linoleum square against the bench hook. That way, whenever you're carving away, your hands aren't gonna accidentally slip and plunge into someone's hand. I don't know. Okay, so um, you always want to have your bench hook attached to the end of the table, okay, and you always want to carve on the bench hook itself. Okay, so a couple safety rules before we begin. Um, always keep your free hand behind the blade. You have two hands, you must always keep track of them. Use your dominant hand to so, carve. Always you, carve away from your body. This is going to take a little bit of getting used to, but you always want to carve away from your body, never towards your hand. Because again, what would happen if I slipped? Again, gouging out my hand. It happens every year without fail, someone stabs themselves. So please let that not be you this year. You want to carve in a slow, controlled manner. Take your time. There is no rush. I know some of you may have done this before, but for some of you, it might be a first time using linoleum carving tools. So this is your practice round. It's okay if something doesn't go right. Just take your time. Safety is part of your grade. Every once in a while, you'll hear me do a hand check. I'll just shout that randomly. And when it's time for a hand check, you want to make sure, again, you're not carving towards your hand and you're using your dominant hand. So, so number one, step one, we have my bench hook. Step two, my linoleum is against the part of my bench hook. Step three, how am I gonna hold the blade? Okay, you wanna take the palm of your hand and put the blade in the center of your palm. This is how you're gonna hold it so you have the most sturdy, kind of you're using the, the force behind your arm to press forward. You don't wanna use, if for example, I was to hold it like this, like we're used to holding a pencil, I'm only using my pointer finger to apply pressure. By putting it in the center of my palm, I'm going to use the whole force of my arm. This will make everything much easier for you. Okay, so let's get carving. We have three, I have three tools with me for carving. Um, we have the pointer tool. You could also use a knife tool. I just tend to prefer the needle tool. We have the V tool. The V tool is shaped like a V. And we have the U tool. Each tool has its own specific purpose. Okay, you use the needle tool to outline. The needle guides the V. The V guides the U. The U tool is used for larger areas. The V is used for detail work. And the needle tool is used to outline or guide. So let's get started. Why don't we zoom in? Okay, step number one. I'm gonna start with my larger area first. I take my needle tool. So I, I'll take my needle tool and I'll outline all along my circle. Next, I'm gonna use my V tool very slowly going along that needle tool mark. And as I get away, notice how I'm no longer going towards the bench hook, so I'm gonna to have to rotate my square. You always want to make sure that you're going away from your body and towards the bench hook. See, it slipped, but no big deal. You don't want to carve too deep or too shallow. You'll know you're carving in too deep when you start to see the mesh behind the linoleum. You don't need to apply, you don't need to go too deep in order to create a line. Okay, so I've outlined where I want to go. I'm also going to do along that halfway line. And Okay, next I'm going to use my U tool. My U tool, what I do is I kind of put it in that groove I made with the V. And I just slowly, ever so slowly, carve away the larger areas. Remember, wherever I carve will be white, and whatever I leave behind will be inked. So some of you in your designs may be tempted to have white backgrounds. You'll notice, if you notice in here, there's a little bit of texture. That texture is gonna show up 
I mentioned just texture is one of those things we actually look for in linoleum stamps. Make that work for you. Don't try and carve away so much that you have a pure white background. Incorporate the texture into your design. You can make it into grass. You can make it into kind of like abstract shapes, maybe like wind in the background. Just kind of why make your life more difficult than it has to be. It's much easier to have that texture element in there and it'll also be a better design overall. So let me quickly finish this up and we'll move on to the other section. If you carve in the wrong area, you're just going to have to incorporate that into the design. Be flexible with your design. For example, in one area I carved in here just a little too deep, that's okay. I made that work for me. Uh, once you carve an area away, you can't really put anything back. Uh, so just keep that in mind as you're carving. Remember, carve in a slow, controlled manner. Finally, we're going to go over cleanup. I'm going to take all of my pencil shaving, or excuse me, linoleum shavings and put them on top of my, my bench hook. At the end of class, I'm gonna take this bench hook and I'm gonna dump it in the trash. The pencil shavings look a lot like the clay. They're the same, same kind of uh, gray tone. And if the linoleum gets in the clay, it might blow up a clay project. Don't be that guy. So please remember to throw away your linoleum shavings at the end of every class. Remember, you do get a cleanup grade. So thank you very much and good luck carving your linoleum stamps.